Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with six months of set theory and higher order logic. This is logic 301, month number three. In this video, we're going to be looking at the second piano postulate. Numbers follow numbers. Now, the second piano postulate introduces the third concept required to build out the natural numbers, the idea of successorship. Intuitively, this is the concept of one number coming after another number. One is the successor of zero, two is the successor of one, three is the successor of two, etc. Numbers go one after another. This is something that we can imagine and understand quite easily, but the piano postulates give us a formal way to define this function and to ensure that this function neither does more than our intuitive notion of successorship nor less than our intuitive notion of successorship. This postulate alone, postulate number two, isn't going to do all of that work for us, but it's going to start us on that path. So let's take a look. It's important to note that successorship is a function, as we learned about in the last month, or at least it will be once we fully defined it. This means that for each input, there's one and only one output. There is only one successor of any number, though without other postulates, multiple numbers might have the same successor. Remember that functions are like machines, such that any input has a single defined output. If I put in a 2, I will always get the same number out, in this case 3, once we've fully defined everything. Based on the axioms we have so far, it's possible that there are other numbers that if I put them in, I will get 3. But if I put in 2, I must always get out the same result for this to be classified as a function. Check out our video from the last month on functions for more. This axiom alone, or this postulate alone, does not explicitly define successorship as a function, but once we have all of the postulates together, we'll see how it is a function, and it must be a function. Now, the second postulate is very simple. It just states that the successor of a natural number is also a natural number. This means that the successor of zero is a natural number, and so is the successor of the successor of zero, and so on. Whenever you apply the successorship function to some set that is a natural number, is a member of the set of all natural numbers, the resulting set is also a member of the set of all natural numbers. This is similar to some of the axioms we've seen so far in about sets that show that the union or the power set of a set is also a set. Now, you might think that this is enough to show that the natural numbers are infinite, or that there are a bunch of natural numbers, but it's not quite enough. Because it could be possible, depending on how we define successorship, that zero is its own successor. Remember, we haven't explicitly defined what successorship means yet. If so, the only natural number would be zero. Or we could have a two-number loop. Zero could be the successor of one, and one could be the successor of zero. Note that based on this postulate alone, it could be possible that successorship is not a formal function, where each input has exactly one output. It could be a relation where a lot of numbers have relationships between each other, and we don't always have the same output when we put in an input. We're going to get there eventually, but based on this axiom alone, we don't have that. Zero could have many different successors. It is key to remember that successorship only functions as we have defined it so far, and we've only defined it very basically, regardless of our intuitive notions of what a successor should be. We're going to get to those definitions that will get us there throughout these postulates, and then with our set theoretic definitions of that function of successorship, but we're not there yet. And so it could mean all of these possible different things, which is why we need those other postulates. Up next, we're adding another postulate to the list, which is zero is the beginning, which is going to get rid of some of our problems with loops, but not all of them. Watch this video and more here at Cardades.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.